This video clip develops a solution to exercise sheet 3, question 1, part A. In this question, we're told the data generation process is a VAR of order 1, and we're asked to assess whether it's stationary for a couple of the values of uh, the autoregressive matrix phi 1. Before we look at the specifics of this question, first remind ourselves of the general condition for stationarity of a VAR P process. We write out the VAR P uh, data generation process in the notation we used in lectures. It's as follows. And then remember the condition for stationarity involves what's called the characteristic equation that's associated with the VAR, which is a determinantal equation involving the uh, vector autoregressive polynomial terms. Okay? And the crucial thing is that the roots of this determinist determinantal equation must be less than 1 in absolute value, and if that's satisfied, the VAR is going to be stationary. So there's the characteristic equation. It's the determinant of that expression. I mean, that's set equal to 0, and we find the values that satisfy that equation of lambda, known as the roots of the equation, and they must be less than 1 in absolute value for it to be stationary. Now turning to the specifics of this question, we're told it's a bivariate VAR, so the dimension of the system K is equal to 2. We're also told that it's a first order VAR, so P is equal to 1. Okay, so reading off from what we just developed on the right hand side here, that general condition actually simplifies to quite a straightforward form. With P equal to 1 and K equal 2, we get that the characteristic equation has this very simple form. Okay. Now what we need to do is to evaluate that for the different choices of phi given in the question. Okay. We'll do it in two steps. First we'll find I2 lambda minus phi 1 and then we'll use that to get it to the relevant determinant. So I2 times lambda is just a diagonal matrix with lambdas down the main diagonal, putting in the value for phi given in the question and then subtracting the uh, phi from uh, lambda 2i we get the following expression and then using the formula for a two, the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, we get that the characteristic equation, the determinantal part of the characteristic equation is lambda minus 0.9 squared minus minus 0.1 squared. Multiplying out, that gives us a quadratic in lambda of the following form. Okay? So our characteristic equation involves setting that quadratic in lambda equal to 0. As we write out the characteristic equation, we'll simplify a step here and recog by recognizing that we can factor the polynomial to write it in the following way, lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 0.8. And then setting that equal to 0, it's immediately apparent that the roots are 1 and 0.8. Okay. Now the condition for stationarity was that those two roots should be less than 1 in absolute value. Clearly, that's not satisfied for the first root, so this VAR is non-stationary. If we now do it in part two, we're given a different set of phi values. Repeating the steps that we've just gone through with the new phi one, okay. we're going to get a different matrix, obviously. Then we need the determinant of that, which is going to be lambda minus 0.6 times lambda minus 1.1 1 .1 minus 0.6 times minus 0.1. Multiplying out again, of course, we get a quadratic in lambda. This time it's this particular expression. So to get the characteristic equation, we set that quadratic equal to 0. And as we write it out, we'll note that the quadratic can actually be factored in a convenient way because it's equal to lambda minus 0.8 times lambda minus 0.9. And when we set that equal to 0, it's clear that the two roots of that equation are 0.8 and 0.9. The condition was that they had to be less than 1 in absolute value for the VAR to be stationary. And of course that's satisfied here, so this VAR is a stationary system.